Hello, welcome to this tutorial from Roland DG in which we're going to look at how to save jobs from Roland VersaWorks. This is a great feature for repeat customers or repeat print jobs and also a good way of filing your jobs from Roland VersaWorks. So if you open Roland VersaWorks and go into the job settings for your for your job, you can then make any changes that you wish to to the file. As you can see here, I'm just going to change the number of copies that I'm going to have for this job. Center on the media, uh, change any quality settings, or any of the other print settings or features along the left hand columns of the job settings here in VersaWorks. Once you've finished making your changes, come out of the job settings, and now you could print this job if it was for a customer, if you knew that they were going to be coming back or if you wanted to save a copy for yourself we head down to the bottom icon here where we can save jobs. Click the icon and a window will pop up. Um, I'm just going to save these jobs into a temporary folder that I've created on my C drive so you can save the jobs wherever you wish depending on how you file your jobs. We have three options for how we can save these our jobs from Roland VersaWorks. First of all, we'll go with the top option here. So we can save in the RVW file format, which is the Roland VersaWorks file format. I'm just going to change the name of this job. And I'm saving it in my temporary file and click OK. Now what we can do is we can delete this job out of the queue to save on processing time and keep our queue with minimal jobs inside of it. Next time the customer comes back in and wants the repeat job or re requires another order, what we can do is then go to add job to queue. You can see that here we have the RVW file. I'm just going to look at the properties of this file a second and you can see here that it's a very small file. It's only 131 kilobytes. Because all of all this file does is contain the information that VersaWorks needs to set up that job as you did the last time. So I'm going to open the job and what VersaWorks will do is bring that job back into the queue and if I open up the job settings again we can see that it's maintained all of the changes that I made previously when I created the file. Now what happens with this file, as I mentioned, is that VersaWorks will look at the, low, at, um, at the file for just for the setup information in VersaWorks, which means that it's looking at the original location for the artwork. So if I delete this job out of my queue and I open the original file location, if I just create another fo folder here, if I move the original artwork file into a different location, and now I try and import the job. It says the original file print and cut demo Roland PDF does not exist. Do you want to specify the folder? So it's giving me the opportunity to show the to show VersaWorks where to look for the original artwork. So if I select yes and then I s select the folder that I've moved the artwork into, it can now find the artwork and rebring in the job again maintaining all of the changes that I made the first time round. So that's the first option for saving jobs out of VersaWorks. The next option that we have, if I click on the save button again, is to save as an RVW plus source file. So this will incorporate the original artwork into the file that I'm going to save. So if I did move the location on the computer or delete the original artwork, I'm still going to be able to open that RVW file. So I'm just going to change that name again. And save it into the same location. Now this file will be considerably larger than the previous file because it incorporates the original artwork. 
So if we go to add job to queue, and select the next one. Again, if we look at the properties now, we can see that it's considerably larger. It's actually 25 megabytes because it includes the artwork. But we can bring in this file. And same as before, it will have maintained all of the settings from the original document or from the original job. The only downside with this format will be that if we have deleted the original artwork, we now can't make any changes to that artwork should we wish to. It's incorporated within that document file. The next option that we have when you go to save a job is to save the job as a PRT file. So this is a print ready document. If we save as a PRT file, if I save this into my temp folder again, and just change the name. What will happen to the file is that it will VersaWorks will rip the file and gather all of the print information that VersaWorks needs to print that job. And it will save all of that information as one file called the PRT file. Once that file has saved, we wouldn't actually import that into the queue because it's going to be sent straight to the printer without en any capabilities to edit within VersaWorks. So we need to make sure that this print file is 100% ready as we would like to print it again in the future for repeat jobs and that our printer is set up in the same way that it was when we saved the file, so the same width, media, etc. So you can see that it goes into the RIP status and actually goes into the print status just to gather all of the information that it will need to print. And as I mentioned, we don't then go to Add job to QA. Instead, we need to head to the printer tab at the top here and we go to send native file. Once you go to send native file, you can choose your PRT file. If we just have a look at the file size here, we can see that it's again considerably larger than the RVW plus source file. It's actually 490 megabytes. So it's a very large file because it contains all of the information that the printer needs. Um, to, to print that file and all of the color management and all of the rest of the transformation information from digital format to your actual print. If you open the digital the PRT file, sorry, it won't go into the queue, it will just go straight into the printer. And that's it for saving jobs from Roland VersaWorks. Choosing the correct format will depend on how you store your files and your original artwork, but it's a much handier way of then keeping jobs in your queue and remembering settings for repeat custom. Thank you.